Hi, I'm Elgin Cleckley, and this is the Great Northern Migration Design Studio. The Great Northern Migration, defined by journalist and author of The Warmth of Other Sons, Isabel Wilkerson, is the outpouring of six million African Americans from the Jim Crow South to cities in the North and the West between World War I and the 1970s. According to Wilkerson, the migration marks the first time in American history that the lowest caste people signaled they had options and were willing to take them and the first time they had a chance to choose for themselves what they would do with their innate talents. These people by their actions were able to do what the powers that be, North and South, could not or would not do. They freed themselves. Wilkerson's book, you see here, The Warmth of Other Sons, will be our primary text for the studio. It's filled with empathic stories of the migration itself, and we'll focus on the Eastern path of the three paths of the migration. We'll go up the East Coast, heading from the South, from the Florida, through the Carolinas, up through Virginia, and up to New York City. In this, you'll learn your own sense of ethics and aesthetics, looking at this idea of social impact design through a series of action-based empathy that I've created, empathy-based principles, themes, and methods, which will lead to your own inclusive design activism. Throughout this process, we'll take a real deep dive into research of social, cultural, and historical information about the migration. Think about the social impacts that then resonate into the cities, into New York City, into Washington, also into Philadelphia. But this idea of how to take empathic design will really increase your skills throughout the semester. We'll be doing this under my pedagogy initiative and practice empathic design. Studio is built into six modules, and the first module takes on an idea of mapping, and we'll look at a timeline which takes in the readings of social, contextual, and historical, also looking at Wilkerson. And within this, you'll find a real understanding of the migration itself. We'll look at the reality of Jim Crow, not only here in Virginia, but also along the South and its response in the North. We'll look at that Eastern pathway, focusing on Vanderbilt, Grand Central Station in New York City as the end of our path. We'll use that space symbolically as our representation. And we'll also think about architectural responses which occur there. We'll look at Jacob Lawrence's migration series to think about the artistic and design response to the migration and the response in New York City of African-American culture. Focus deeply on the Northern pathway by recreating it symbolically and then responding in Vanderbilt Hall. Throughout all six of these modules, there'll be actual responses in design, and your design responses then will also inform your final design response in Vanderbilt Hall. Many thanks to the resource file produced this summer by Jake Gianni, Lauren Brown, and Lauren Downing. And this is an example of one of those responses here created by Lauren Brown based on the Wilkerson reading. And we'll be doing lots of these during the semester to inform your work. We'll focus on this empathic design thinking methodology of discovery, designing and making and implementation throughout the semester. We'll also focus on three themes, idea of the mind, the design thinking, imagine the design thinking of Jim Crow here. We'll look at the Montpelier station, for instance. We'll analyze through my idea of 6D, looking at spaces, systems, objects, products, graphics, and experiences. Here, the Jim Crow segregated car from Southern Railway will be analyzed. And we'll think about the body, introducing perspectives of the other in these landscapes. What was it like to be an African-American within this space? The list on the right are the resource files. And so all of these right now are on box and we'll head through each piece of our resource file and we'll find real true deep research to inform your design work. That includes the readings from Wilkerson, great migration timelines which have been created a timeline of Jim Crow history, which has all the dates and also impactful uh, governmental rules that came along in state and national levels. Montpelier Station, first person accounts from African Americans, setting context, reference examples of collage, uh, details on the pathways, Jacob Lawrence's work, self, his own history, Phillips and the MoMA. We created a Studio palette, which is based on PMS colors that come from the migration series that we'll use in our drawings, Grand Central history, background on Vanderbilt, and also a 3D model, which is already created by Jake Gianni. 
we'll take that symbolic journey. We'll head from here in Virginia, so you'll understand the actual Jim Crow design at Montpelier. We'll head up, as you see here in Jacob Lawrence's image in the middle. We'll have real true accounts of African Americans taking this journey, understanding the railway cars and the actual design impact of them and Jim Crow, the realities of the Green Book through this space. And then we'll speak with Rodney Leon once we get to New York City. He'll tell us about his empathic design and the concepts behind the African Burial Ground Memorial. And this is the model that's been created by Jake Gianni in which your design response throughout all this research, you'll do your smaller uh, ideas and concepts which will then evolve into this overall design concept that will educate, make it experiential and be interpretive of the Great Migration itself within Vanderbilt Hall. And so you can see on the left, the scale of Vanderbilt Hall itself, and also here on the right, how your insertion would be part of it to respond not only to the architecture, but to the culture, thinking about the realities of the time and the symbolic nature of arriving in New York City in this space. Some early readings on the left, if you'd like to start to investigate, we'll be looking at Monument Lab's work in Philadelphia, Creative Speculations. Simone Brown's ideas about surveillance and blackness will give us some ideas and understanding now and also historically thinking about Jim Crow and putting it in space. Sites of Memory by Craig Barton to think about these locations, which also speaks about the African burial ground and responses in New York City. The Warmth of Other Sons, which really gives an incredible historical account of the migration itself. And understanding empathy to expand yourself as you're going to become a deeper empathic designer throughout this semester. I'm happy to answer any questions you have, and you can see my email here. And I look forward to seeing you in the studio.